Hello, this is Taylor with Fox Pool Management. So for this video, what we're going to be going over is how to raise the pH in a pool using soda ash. So basically, this is very simple. If your pH is too low, so let's say you have like a seven in your pool, um, typically like a really easy way to, to raise it is actually to make sure your alkalinity is in balance first. So you can do that um, by balancing your alkalinity. Go see the other videos for how to do that. Um, but let's say your alkalinity is in balance and your pH is still too low for whatever reason, then you can go and add soda ash to the pool. So um, you're going to to start, to know how much you need to add, you need to go to your Taylor Cast book booklet in the back, go and see how much do you need to add. You're gonna do your base demand test, see um, how much you need to add to raise it up per, how many drops per gallonage of the pool. Um, in this pool, just to keep it really simple, I'm just gonna add one cup to the pool. Um, if you're ever being super um, exact, you can usually be pretty, pretty, um, go for like a pretty rough estimate with this stuff, especially with bigger pools. But if you're needing to be exact, for example, for baby pools or for spas, or if you have like a health inspection and you need to make sure the numbers are right on point, then you can use a measuring cup for this. Um, one cup of soda ash is approximately two pounds of soda ash. So um, that's how you can measure it if you're trying to be more specific. So I'm gonna take one cup here. We're gonna come over to a skimmer. We're gonna open it up and make sure first, like the, the skimmer's just sucking so you can check in. This one is, so then we can just put that basket back in, take our soda ash and just dump it into the skimmer. That'll disperse it through the pool. Um, anything that's left in there, we can just like rinse out of our measuring cup. If we get any on the on the deck, we can just measure, uh, rinse that off as well. Make sure that it's all, you can see there's some like chunks down there so you can kind of mix that around. Um, be a little bit careful because if you're putting a lot in there, soda ash will heat up when it's mixed into the water. So just be uh, a wee bit careful when you're touching it. Just rinse the rest off your hands and then you're pretty much done. Um, so yeah, that's about it for this one and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.